Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to make this animation with Blender, Element 3D and After Effects. Let's get started. So friends, welcome back and this video for beginners. First we want to open Blender and click General. Right now, let's select this camera and light. Let's delete. Select this cube. Let's press G and Z, let's move it up. Ok, then go to scale 2 and let's zoom to cube. Let's change scale a little bit like this. Ok, let's change scale like this. Ok, that's good. So in this time, let's go to edit mode and let's select each selection. Let's select this four edge and this edge and right now let's hold Ctrl and B for bevel. Let's bevel like this and for add segments change mouse wheel scroll. Okay and click enter. Also we can go to here bevel settings and we can change segments here like this. Let's save this 8 okay so click move tool and let's see okay looks good and right now go to face selection and let's select this face and hold shift select this face let's click delete and select faces nice so let's click a for select all elements and go to extrude let's hold this icon select extrude along normals and let's extra like this ok not bad so in this time let's back to object mode and go to add mesh and create new cube ok and change scale like this let's move to up ok let's click 3 in numpad change view and let's change scale like this and go to click this icon for x-ray ok, change scale like this let's move to up like this and let's hold ctrl and a click scale for approve scale ok so again select this cube and go to edit mode right now let's select this edge mode and let's ctrl r and change mouse wheel for add segments Ok, 4 is good, let's click enter and click ask for cancel move right now go to here, again control R and change mouse wheel 3 segments, click enter and click ask for cancel movement ok, so in this time let's change perspective view and click this icon let's select H2 again, let's select this H and hold shift select this and this and finally this edge and click this icon again for scene side and again control B for bevel let's bevel like this ok click x-ray let's see ok nice also we can change a little bit like this ok looks good Ok, so let's select this face selection and let's select these all faces and let's click I for insert or go to here and use insert face and let's change insert like this Ok, and let's click scale tool and change scale like this and change a little bit ok, let's change again and move to up ok, looks good so, right now click E for extrude and extrude to inside nice, and when we select the all faces, right mouse go to separate and click selection so this is cube to our display let's change name display 
let's back to object mode okay let's go to enable carity okay nice let's select display and move to here nice let's select this cube one and display let's move to back here nice and select this cube and let's scale okay nice so in this time let's go to add mesh and create uv sphere let's select move tool and move to up press s change scale move to down change scale again and let's move to back here right now select this scale tool and let's select this red scale icon change scale like this and right mouse shade smooth this is main button and select move tool let's move to inside like this press s change scale and let's click three for change view okay let's move to here a little bit okay nice so select this sphere let's shift d for duplicate and press g and z for move to up press s change scale for main camera let's move to here change scale again change more okay let's move to up or move to left okay nice so in this time go to add mesh and cube let's move to up and change scale change more scale like this okay so in this time click move tool and go to add modifier let's use subdivision surface and go to edit mode and use edge selection let's control air change mouse scroll and click enter and change scale like this okay let's control air again go to here change mouse wheel for add two segments click enter and click ask for cancel movement change scale like this okay again go to here control air let's add two segment click enter and change scale like this so change like this and back to object mode right mouse shade smooth okay so select this cube let's move to up and move to inside let's move to inside like this okay not bad So in this time, let's go to again, add, mesh and cube. Let's change scale. And go to add modifier. Let's add subdivision surface. Change like this. And go to edit mode. And select this face. Let's move to right. And control R change mouse wheel for add two segments click enter and change scale okay let's move to here scales and go to here control r add two segments click scale okay not bad let's back to object mode right mouse shade smooth and change scale and let's click three move to here
change scale a little bit and change rotation And let's move to here. And let's select this button. Shift D, click ESC and move to right. And let's change scale like this. Put it inside, move to down. Again, Shift D, click ESC, move up, and move to here. And let's put it inside a little bit. And let's move up these two buttons. And select this button, Shift D, click ESC, move to down, and change scale like this. Okay, not bad. So friends, right now let's add materials for every single element. First select this cube and go to this icon, material properties and change base color. Let's use random colors. For example, I will use blue and click this icon for C shading. Okay, and select this cube one and let's click new, change base color red or yellow and select this cube two. Let's click new, change base color green and cube 3 this button let's click new and use color like this select cube 4 also let's use material 3 and cube 5 also use material 3 and cube 6 use material 3 and select this element let's click new and base color like this in sphere main button let's click new and base color like this and final sphere is camera let's click new and base color let's use black okay so let's zoom to here okay looks good and finally let's select this element shift D for duplicate and click cancel move to back and let's change scale like this click move tool and let's go to material let's use this material for backside and put inside like this okay nice so let's save file and go to file export and wavefront obj file let's click here and let's add file name here click export so let's go to after effects and animate this form so let's create new conversation add name element 3d and frame rate 25 10 second click ok and go to create new solid layer add the name element 3d change color black click ok and go to effects video couplet and element and go to scene setup click import Select this mobile model and don't change any settings. Click open. Again, click open and click normalize size. Let's see. Okay, nice. And right now, go to presets and go to physical folder. And let's open here. We can change all materials here. First, material, let's use flat color blue. Okay, and change lighting here 100 ambient okay nice and material one this is inside let's use again flat color and go to change diffuse color here let's use yellow click ok and select flat color main change here also yellow click ok and select material 4 this is main display let's use flat color also and change diffuse color here let's change white or let's change light this color click ok and material 5 
this is main button let's use flat color and change diffuse color here let's use black click ok nice and material 6 this is main camera also let's use flat color here and change this like this here click ok and material 2 let's use flat color and change to black click ok nice and finally buttons let's use flat color and change buttons like this click ok let's try change dark yellow okay not bad so in this time let's click ok and create new solid layer for background add name background click ok move to behind go to fx presses source effect fill and let's use fill for background change color white click ok select this element 3d let's create new camera click ok and we can use camera controls here or click c in shortcut change camera view and zoom to phone okay nice select element 3d open render settings and open lighting change here also 100 ambient okay let's see non light okay we can see this button and let's see difference nice very good so let's open ambient occlusion click enable and change intensity 10 and change gamma let's change 5 okay not bad also we can close like this for very flat style or we can change in test five okay that's good so select this element 3d and go to here open first group and let's create new null object for control this model so select this null object hold control double click this icon for move anchor point center click section tool and let's change rotation press air okay very nice so let's change rotation like this and select this anchor point let's move to like this okay let's change rotation again okay very nice and right now we can make animation let's change rotation zero and select this camera let's press c let's zoom out like this and move to here let's enable title action save okay looks good and select this null object let's press p move to down make new pass in keyframe go to 10 keyframe for shortcut you can use hold shift press page down in keyboard and let's move to up go to 10 keyframe again move to down again go to 10 keyframe move to up again go to 10 keyframe move to down and finally go to 10 keyframe move to up so there are more chip frames for bones animation select chip frames make easies and let's animation okay let's select all chip frames right mouse chip frame interpolation change auto bezier to linear click ok let's again nice and let's go for a second hold shift press air for open rotation and make y rotation let's try change rotation like this and go to here let's change rotation let's see okay and go to here change rotation minus 5 go to 10 keyframe change 2 go 10 keyframe change 0 select rotation keyframes make easy and let's animation nice and Let's select these last four chair frames move to right okay that's good 
So in this time, let's make new parts in chip frame. Let's move to right and go to here. Let's move to here and let's see. Okay, in this time, make Y rotation chip frame. Go to here and chain rotation like this. Nice. And select these chip frames. Go to graph editor. Let's zoom to here. Select this graph. Let's make graph like this. Let's see. Nice. So back to chip frames. And in this time, let's chain rotation like this. Go to six chip frame. Let's click time duration right here. Plus six. Click OK. And chain the rotation a little bit like this. Go to six chip frame again. I will use page down one two three four five six and chain rotation to back for wiggle let's see this part okay so let's select this G frame and hold control let's click left mouse again left mouse let's say again okay that's good so we can add text here let's go to text and write sell now Clearization tool and use yellow color. Let's try this color. Okay, and change font. Gabo, my favorite font. And change like this. Okay, so let's go to window. Open animation comes there three. Open starter preset and open text. Animate characters. Let's use overshot scale, click in, close cam station, and let's move to right. Let's see timing, move to right a little bit. Okay, that's good. So let's see full animation. Nice, not bad. And let's go to window, again animation comes to three. And open starter precoms, shape elements. I want to spark animation. Okay, here it is. Let's select and add. Close sound. And let's move to left here. Okay, nice. And let's move to behind this composition, element 3D. And let's go to FS presses, search effect fill, select fill, let's use for composition and go to eyedrop, select this yellow color and change this composition size, let's see, nice, very good. And let's control D for duplicate, move to here for this text animation. and change color blue nice so thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe channel like video and please follow me on instagram good luck